making a snoring noise. I'm so horrible. Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome back to the Science of Self-Care. I'm sitting here on my bed because I wanna share one of the habits that I've been doing now for two years and that is putting mouth tape on before I go to sleep. So in this little box, I actually have my mouth tape, which is actually a half of a normal mouth tape. Um, I buy the kind that is an X shape and then I cut it in half because I actually have small mouth and small lips. And I just use half of that X, which turns into a V shape, put it on my mouth and sleep with this tape on. It doesn't always stay the whole night through, but it does help me spend most of my sleep time with my mouth closed, which means I'm forced to breathe through my nose. Why is this important? Though there's still a lot of research to be done, it seems like nighttime nasal breathing offers us smoother and more consistent oxygen flow than when we're breathing through our mouth, even though we can get really big gulps of air through our mouth, it doesn't necessarily result in consistent, calm, smooth breathing throughout the entire evening. It's also been well documented that nasal breathing warms and humidifies and filters air better than our mouth. We have all these nose hairs for a reason. It's literally acting as a filter system. When I breathe through our mouth, <laughs> there's no filter system and it's just more a gulp of air. That might be another reason why people see benefits when they breathe through their nose versus their mouth. I was also listening to a Dr. Huberman Lab podcast episode on breathing and he mentioned a few studies from the Journal of Neuroscience that link nasal breathing to improved memory. This is also super fascinating um, because olfaction, which is our sense of smell, is one of the senses that's most strongly linked to memory and emotion. There's a lot of structures in our brain in this region that have to do with memory formation. So when I hear something like this, I think, that makes a lot of sense that if we're breathing through our nose and offering those portions of our brain immediate hit of oxygen, then yeah, maybe there is some improvement to memory. But that's a bit of a tangent. I wanna talk about nasal breathing during sleep and the benefits I've personally noticed after two years of doing this and whether I think it's a habit worth adopting. So stick around to find out if you should also be taping your mouth shut while you're sleeping. Let's go. One of the most obvious benefits that I've noticed is that I no longer wake up with a sore or dry throat. This is something that used to happen to me a lot. I would wake up in the morning and my throat would just feel a little dry, a little sore. This doesn't happen to me anymore and this can be for a number of reasons. If I am sleeping and my mouth is open, um, not only is there the opportunity for my mouth and throat to dry out more. There's also the opportunity for different types of bacteria to grow in there with that. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. There's also the opportunity for different types of bacteria to grow in my throat while I have my mouth open versus when I have my mouth shut and that passage of air isn't offering oxygen to my whole oral cavity. I know that sounds really weird. I haven't found too many great studies on this, but I will say that I personally have felt a huge difference. So that's a, a benefit I noticed almost immediately after using mouth tape. A second benefit I've noticed that I don't really have a solid science-based explanation for is that I wake up with a lot less of a puffy face. And if I had to hypothesize why this might be, it might be that the air that I'm breathing through my nose is filtered, so I'm less likely to have a bit of a allergic or immune reaction to what I'm breathing in. I'm not sure, but when I am a bit inflamed, I kind of swell up and become puffy and in the mornings, I used to get very, very puffy. I've noticed that with mouth tape, this happens less often. It's something I've struggled with my whole life. It's really hard to say what is due to mouth tape versus other lifestyle factors in the last two years. This video is really just about me sharing my personal experience and potentially getting you excited enough to try mouth tape yourself. Another benefit that I've noticed, which is wonderful, is that I no longer snore, or at least not that I'm aware of, and I used to definitely snore. Um, and snoring is really caused by mouth breathing. If you think about making a snoring noise, <laughs> you can't really do it unless you're breathing through your mouth. And you literally can't snore 
<laughs> if your mouth is covered. So if you are a snorer, I would say definitely try mouth tape because it makes it nearly impossible to snore if your mouth is taped shut. Another benefit I've noticed that's a little bit related to the throat soreness is I no longer have as much nasal congestion just in general. I feel like my nasal pathways are a lot more clear. This is actually a reason why a lot of people are scared of mouth tape. If they have congested nasal pathways, they think they won't be able to breathe if their mouth is taped shut during the night. Well, firstly, it's highly unlikely you're going to tape your mouth shut and suffocate yourself because this tape that I use, it's not hard to take off. If you really needed to, you could rip it open with your mouth. It's just a gentle reminder to your lips and your jaw that it should try and remain closed. So if you do have a lot of nasal congestion, you might be inclined to not try mouth tape and fear that you won't get enough oxygen when actually forcing yourself to breathe through your nose can help clear that congestion. And one of the reasons you might actually be congested in your nose is because you are predominantly breathing through your mouth. And even if you try it for the first hour when you're sleeping and then you take it off in the middle of the night, that can already start to force air flow through your nose and help clear out that congestion. A lot of times I wake up with my mouth tape on my neck, which is something I do semi-consciously when I'm sleeping. If I've had enough of the mouth tape in the middle of the night, I'll just place it on my neck, which is really funny to wake up with these little pieces of tape on yourself. Even just starting the evening with a forced nose breathing is been has been really helpful for keeping my nasal passage clear. No more congestion in my nose is amazing. I feel like I sleep much better with mouth tape. I wake up well rested. I don't wake up as often in the middle of the night. Again, looking at the science and that nasal breathing actually offers us smoother, more consistent flow of oxygen throughout the evening. It may very well be that I am getting a better night's sleep because I don't have this erratic breathing in the night that happens if we're snoring or breathing through our mouth or changing all around <laughs> our position. So I do feel like I sleep better. Again, it's really hard to quantify this or to separate other confounding factors in the last two years. I've also had a lot of other lifestyle changes for the better. I certainly would say it hasn't derailed my sleeping in any way, which I think is usually a fear people have with mouth tape, that it will be distracting or they'll suffocate or it's just uncomfortable. After two years of doing this, my recommendation would be that everyone should try it. I love ordering the mouth tape because the adhesive isn't so intense and you don't feel like you wake up with this crazy film on your lips. But if you already have adhesive tape or medical tape lying around in your cabinet, you can already try using mouth tape this evening see how it feels. And I would say even if it feels very awkward in the beginning and if you feel like you wanna take it off after a few hours, it doesn't mean that it's not helpful or that it's not something you can slowly ease into. It's definitely something I eased into, but I do notice that when I don't use it, I'm more likely to wake up puffy with a sore throat and a congested nose. So, so I would say you have really nothing to lose. Give it a shot. If you already experiment with mouth tape or nose breathing or other types of sleep hacks, please share below. I love to hear what you guys are up to. I love to share it with the community. So let me know below what you think of mouth tape, if you've tried it, if it sounds scary. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.